We all know that hackers are working around the clock to spread new viruses, steal your personal information, and destroy your computer and its files. And we all know that an antivirus can protect you. But how does an antivirus actually work? Before we dive into the inner workings of an antivirus, let's first look at how a computer virus infects and spreads across networks. Viruses operate pretty much like any other program installed on your computer. The main difference, however, is that viruses are meant to harm, harvest, erase, eavesdrop, capture, or destroy important data on your system. Part of the problem is that viruses are sneaky. They can attach onto completely legitimate files like email attachments or MP3s or movie files. They camouflage themselves as legitimate when they aren't, which is why some antiviruses work and others don't. Not all of them know how to look for the sneakiest of viruses. But a virus is just one kind of malware. Another popular kind of malware is ransomware. It locks up your device and its files until you pay lots of money to the hackers. Ransomware hackers don't just target large multinational corporations who can easily spare a few thousand dollars. They target anyone with a weak defense, small businesses, individuals, and even nonprofits. There are so many kinds of malware out there, worms, trojans, spyware, keyloggers, adware, phishing, and many, many more. And while it's impossible to be 100% protected, the best and most effective method of securing your devices is prevention, which is the main purpose of antivirus software. One of the main ways an antivirus works is by cross-checking definition files in a database for known malicious software. But that leaves an obvious hole. What about viruses so new they haven't yet been identified and added to the database? And what about encryption? Hackers can encrypt viruses or parts of their signatures so they can't be matched to an antivirus's database. Hackers also love using mutations, like a biological virus. Once the malware infects a device, it produces spawns of all shapes and sizes, so now you're not just fighting one battle, but an all-out war on several fronts at the same time each with a different type of malware, unknown to the virus database. But the best antiviruses have a few extra tricks of their own. The first is heuristic analysis. Instead of trying to detect just a single signature and fall victim to a mutation, antivirus software will combine related ones into families. That way, they can use a broader generic signature to identify anything that looks or acts or smells like a virus from each family. Another trick is rootkit detection which is used to check and see which actions a program is attempting to execute, and based on those actions, determine whether or not it's malicious. One similar technique is through using a sandbox before installing any new software. A sandbox will test a new file or run a new piece of software in a contained environment, and then sit back and wait. It'll watch what happens and what the program tries to do. But all of that occurs in a safe, isolated environment. And it's only after everything checks out that the program will actually be allowed to run on your device. Sandboxing is considered behavioral-based detection because it's judging the behavior of the virus, as opposed to automatically classifying it based on its properties. And last but not least, the best antiviruses add machine learning to these behavior-based techniques. That way, they can predict what's about to happen based on previous similar actions and stop malware in its tracks before it does anything harmful. Antiviruses work in a number of ways, and only the best ones are able to actually stop malware attacks from happening. But because viruses and other malware are becoming increasingly sophisticated, able to shapeshift at a moment's notice to bypass one or two security checkpoints, Many people put too much trust in their antivirus, and they end up putting themselves in a dangerous situation. If your antivirus isn't capable of handling the threats it encounters, it's not good. There's also a lot of quote-unquote antivirus software which is actually just malware. They want to steal your credit card information and spy on your computer usage. Sometimes good antivirus software can cause problems with false alarms or inconvenient scanning, or it can significantly slow your system down all of those things are not good. The best defense is an antivirus which is easy to use, low on resources, updated frequently, and can use a multi-pronged attack against the newest and most sophisticated malware. So which antivirus is that? Well, everyone has their own needs, and each antivirus is unique. 
Check out the link in the description box below with the best antiviruses out there on the market. You can take a look, compare, and find the best one to fit your needs.